Hello, everybody. Today I can prove trapezoids using the slope formula. And it all comes back to what we've been doing for the past few days. And this one's going to be a little bit different because, as I mentioned in the beginning, I can prove trapezoids using the slope formula. Everything else, we use distance. For isosceles triangles and right triangles, we use distance. For the parallelogram, rectangle, rhombus, and square, we used distance. As you can kind of see, everything here is distance, 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 distance. And now when I get into trapezoids, we're going to deal with slope. Because a trapezoid has one pair of opposite sides parallel and one pair of opposite sides not parallel. And to show that sides are parallel or not parallel, I have to calculate slope. And slope, which we dealt with, you know, a couple of weeks ago, is the change in y over the change in x. To prove an isosceles trapezoid, once we proved it was a trapezoid, we would then have to show that it has congruent legs using two additional distances. So, let's jump right into it. Prove that ABCD is a trapezoid, but not an isosceles trapezoid. So let's start by talking about how to prove it is a trapezoid. So, I'm going to say ABCD is a trapezoid. Because it has one pair of opposite sides parallel and one pair of opposite sides not parallel. You know, wants me to prove that it's not isosceles. It is not isosceles because, well, to prove it was isosceles, I would prove it has congruent legs. So to prove it's not isosceles, I'm going to say because the legs are not so a is negative four six b is two nine c is eight six and d is negative two one So, in order to show that it has one pair of opposite sides parallel, one pair of opposite sides not parallel, I have to find all the slopes. So I'm going to find AB and DC. It looks like those should be the same. And I'm going to find AD and BC. And those should not be the same. So I know that slope is change in y over change in x. So AB is up 1, 2, 3. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's 3 over 6. And DC is 1, 2, Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If I reduce three over six, it reduces to one half. And if I reduce five over ten, that reduces to one half as well. So that's me showing that that one pair of opposite sides is parallel. 
Now I'm going to find the slopes of AD and BC. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2. Down 5 over 2. BC is 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Negative 3 over 6. That reduces to negative 1 half. They are not the same. So now I kind of need to just tie it all together. So in step one, I said that it has one pair of opposite sides parallel and one pair of opposite sides not parallel. So AB is parallel to DC because parallel lines have the same slope. Now I'm going to say the pair of sides that are not parallel, that's going to be AD is not parallel to BC because they don't have the same slope. And then to prove it was not isosceles, I said that the legs are not congruent. Oh, so I got to do that calculation. So I'm just going to kind of uh, clear some space somewhere. I'm just going to clear it from number two. These questions are kind of long and take up space, so it's kind of hard to do on a single screen here. So now to prove it's not isosceles, I'm going to have to find the distance of the legs. So I'm going to find the distance of AD and the distance of BC. So I kind of counted already, but it's a 1, 2, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's going to be 2 squared plus 5 squared, which is 4 plus 25 which is rad 29. BC, I kind of counted as well. It's down 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's 9 plus 36, which is rad 45. So I can say that AD is not congruent to BC because... They don't have the same distance. Congruent is distance. Parallel is slope. So I know I erased uh, the first four calculations on part two, finding all the slopes. But I'm going to start by stating what they want me to prove because, and I'm, again, I'm using this page like I've been using for the past few days. Trapezoid is slope. Everything else is distance. Trapezoid is slope. So I calculate the four slopes. If we're talking about a trapezoid uh, isosceles, then I have to, in addition, find those distances. All right, let's try another one. This is pretty much the exact same thing. So I'm going to have you kind of try step one on your own. So I want you to pause, use the previous one as an example, and write your step one, and then unpause. Okay, <clears throat> smarten up and start typing this. Uh, he wants me to prove that JKLM is a trapezoid, but not an isosceles trapezoid. So I'm going to start by writing that JKLM is a trapezoid because it has one pair of opposite sides parallel and one pair of opposite sides not parallel and then it wants me to prove it's not an isosceles trapezoid so it is not isosceles because the legs are not 
Ooh. And again, you can kind of refer back to the page I'm about to go back to. Let me just make this fit. And it doesn't matter, like, you could have said uh, genetic helium is a trapezoid, but not an isosceles trapezoid because, or you could have broken them up. Either way, it's fine. So, now, I said that it has one pair of opposite sides parallel and one pair of opposite sides not parallel. So, I'm going to have to find the slopes of all four sides. So, let's just get this here. J is 1, negative 2. K is 13, comma, 4. That's kind of annoying. 11, 12, 13, 4. Not the best graph for this. Uh, L is 6, 8. 6, 8. And M is negative 2, 4. So... I'm going to find the slope. Looks like the JK is going to be parallel to ML. So I'm going to find the slope of ML, the slope of JK, and then I'm going to find the slope of MJ and LK. ML is so j is one negative two down one two three four five six one two three down that's why it's mj down six over three lk is one two three four one two three four five six seven Now ML is up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's 4 over 8. JK is up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 4 over 8 reduces to 1 over 2. 6 over 12 reduces to 1 over 2. Negative 6 over 3 reduces to negative 2. And negative 4 over 7 is just negative 4 over 7. So I showed that these two were parallel and these two were not. Now, because it wants me to show that it is not isosceles because the legs are not congruent, I'm going to have to find the distance of the legs the distance of the non-parallel sides, MJ and LK. I don't know why that 7 was so big. I'm just going to redraw that a little bit more normal. Perfect. I mean, you can kind of cheat. Like, MJ was like, and you're changing X at the bottom here, and you're changing X is on top, but I'll just count again anyway. It's going to be 3 and 6. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, three squared plus six squared, LK, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, seven squared plus four squared, that's nine plus 36, that's 49 plus 16. That's rad 45, that's rad 65. As you can see, they are not congruent, they are not the same. So, step three now, tie it all together. I said in step one, it had one pair of opposite sides parallel and one pair not parallel. So tell me that. Tell me that ML is parallel to JK because they have the same slope. Yeah, right, they have the same slope or parallel lines have the same slope because they have the same slope. You can write that MJ is not parallel to LK because 
they don't have the same slope. And then I said in step one that the legs are not congruent. So tell me that the legs are not congruent. MJ is not parallel, excuse me, not congruent to LK. And they're not congruent because they don't have the same distance. So you're always proving congruent except for trapezoid, in which case you're proving parallel. So you're always calculating distance except for trapezoid, in which case you're calculating slope. Now, if it's talking about isosceles, then in addition, you are calculating distance. But I'm going to kind of write this down here because this is really important. For coordinate geometry proofs in general, because this is the last new lesson, uh, and then we're going to kind of like practice after this. You're always calculating distance except for trapezoid, which is today's lesson, in which case you're calculating slope. So that's kind of like a quick little cheat of how to do this entire unit. Understand though, if we're talking about isosceles, then you are going to also have to do distance to show that they are or are not congruent. But for trapezoid, you're always calculating slope. So you got a couple of problems left here. It's really, uh, I think we covered everything in good enough detail for you to try them on your own at this point. You can always refer to the key. And I can prove trapezoids using slope, proving that one pair of opposite sides are parallel, one pair of opposite sides are not parallel. And then to prove an, iso uh, an isosceles trapezoid, once you prove your one pair of opposite sides are parallel and the other are not parallel, you would prove that the legs are congruent. And if once you prove that it's not an isosceles trapezoid, then you're going to prove the legs are not congruent. Have a great day, everybody.